Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. The 4th of July is coming and many of you are gonna go outside and will be taking photos of the fireworks. So in this video, I wanna show you how to take better pictures at night with your GoPro Hero 7. I'm going to be sharing with you how to set up your GoPro, my camera settings to take better wide angle views of the fireworks. So let's check it out. So welcome back to Family of Tech. If you're new to this channel and you like camera, tech, and drones, I do a lot of camera, filmmaking, and drone tutorials. So if that's something that you like, please consider hitting the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. All right guys, so the camera settings we're gonna talk today are specifically for capturing fireworks. Have in mind that GoPros has a wide angle view. So basically you won't be able to zoom in and get close to the action. That means that you have to get as close as possible to get adequate exposure. So step number one is to set your GoPro to taking photos. Then change your settings to night. Make sure that Pro Tune is on. Then go to your camera settings. Since the GoPro has a fixed aperture of f2.8, you will only be able to change the shutter speed and the ISO on the camera. For your shutter speed, you will probably want to set it starting at 10 seconds. But this is something you will have to experiment with because it depends on your lighting situation. For the field of view, set your camera to linear and this is going to give you an equivalent focal length of 24 millimeters, which is ideal to take wide angle views of the fireworks. The only downside of using linear mode is that you won't be able to shoot raw, as raw gives you the more options in post-production. For your white balance, I would set it starting at 2800 to see how the footage looks, because if you set it to auto white balance, you might have a lot of weird color changes as the fireworks go off. And from the final camera setting, put your ISO minimum to 100, with a maximum of 200, but no more than 400, as that is gonna introduce a lot of noise in your footage. And lastly, put your GoPro on a tripod or on top of something that won't move, so you don't get shaky footage. Set your timer to three seconds to also prevent any further camera movement as you take the picture. And that's it, happy 4th of July. I also have a guide on how to take better photos of the firework with any camera that you can set your settings to manual settings, so you can check that out as well on the playlist. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Click the like button if you like it, and don't forget to subscribe for more camera, tech, and drone reviews. See you on the next one.